Welcome in tomorrow morning. Pieces of an actual asteroid will return to Earth. Meteorologist Robert Spetta joins us now to explain the mission nearly a decade in the making. Well, you know, there's a lot of nerves. It's like nervous excitement and adrenaline. That is Jennifer Stern, a NASA space scientist who's been working on the Osiris Rex mission on its seven year journey to an asteroid and back. So OSIRIS-REx launched in 2016 and its goal was to go to an asteroid that we know contains carbonaceous material that's relatively close to Earth, grab a sample and bring it back to Earth so that scientists can study it. So why would we do this? So asteroids are pieces of rocks and metal that are left over from the formation of our solar system. And because of that, they're pristine time capsules of all of the raw ingredients that would have been around for uh, on early Earth and other planets. And this includes things like water or organic matter that could have been on early planets and at least on Earth could have been, you know, some of the raw ingredients for the evolution of life. Now you might be curious, how exactly do we get a sample of an asteroid? So that part is super cool. Um, the maneuver was called touch and go. So we didn't actually land on this asteroid. We basically shot kind of like a harpoon uh, towards it. We got real close and then we um, shot uh, a sample collector towards it, which grabbed the sample and pulled it back into the spacecraft. NASA will be streaming this probe's return live starting at 10 a.m. on Sunday. Anything like that? Oh yeah, it's gonna be coming in hot. At, uh, I think it's 27,000 miles an hour. Um, as it enters the Earth's atmosphere. So it's bound to put on a show in its last minutes of this mission's long journey to discover some of the origins of our solar system. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, First Coast News, on your side.